Rumors have the iPhone 6 disappointing consumers in the megapixel war. Nokia's latest Lumia smartphones could just be a couple of weeks away. And imagine the idea of iTunes Music being sold on Android devices. I'm Jaime Rivera, and this video will self-destruct in around three and a half minutes. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's try to off with some official news as we know how the surveillance of certain government agencies that I'm not going to mention have made a lot of news lately, up to the point where the black phone was probably one of the hottest things at MWC 2014, and that's what Google thinks that they should work on next as they have now decided to make Gmail more secure. In the past, HTTPS connections were available, though optional, and now they're going to be a default. And aside from that, you will also be getting all your email encrypted whenever you send it, and it gets encrypted all the way through Google servers and everywhere until the recipient receives it. So it's great to see that Gmail is making this leap. Hopefully other email services will do the same, even though we know that anything that's babe my man is hackable. So anyway, now let's talk about Microsoft and Nokia, which are pretty much the same thing. We've got some rumors that both companies are going to be launching their new Lumia smartphones at the build event that's happening on April 2nd. We're talking about the Lumia 630 and the Lumia 930. The 630 is a bigger phone that's not necessarily great on specifications for the mid-tiered market mainly. And then the Lumia 930 is going to be the hot cake of this event. Obviously, this is the successor to the 920, which was highly successful and very adequately priced. So uh, that's Let's hope that they maintain that same line as we are expecting this phone particularly. Now, one of the oddest rumors that we've heard today is of Apple considering selling music on Android devices. And uh, now this is not a surprising thing. I mean, in the past, we saw how iTunes made its way to Windows and they sell you music on Windows. You can currently do that. Even if you buy an iPhone, you can stick it with a Windows computer. So it does make sense for Apple to consider the fact that Android devices are on a leap and that definitely there's a lot of business there for them to sell music that they're currently not doing so. And there are a lot of great iTunes services tied to it. So yeah, it would benefit Android devices, particularly because iTunes is not as restricted outside the United States as Android's Google services are. So uh, yeah, this would be cool. Now let's talk about the Oppo Find 7. As I know a lot of you were asking, how great were those 50 50 megapixel photos that the Find 7 can take with that 13 megapixel camera? And as it turns out, we've got the first samples. Look through the description, view the samples, and agree with us in the fact that it doesn't seem like if they're really putting, you know, photos together to build a 50 megapixel shot. They're just zooming in or giving us a bloated version of the same shot. So either this is a camera bug or it's not final software or or whatever but this is not really a 50 megapixel shot it's the size and everything and yet yeah, there are 50 megapixels there but it's not the concept that we get with the pure view from Lumia. And finally, for the very odd news of the day, we've got some rumors that Apple is planning to disappoint everyone with the iPhone 6 when it comes to the megapixel count of its camera. We've been using 8 megapixels on iPhones ever since the iPhone 4S, which launched three years ago. And apparently, we will continue with 8 megapixels with the iPhone 6. Apparently, Apple is considering improving the optics again. And yeah, I know that the microns on this current sensor are bigger in the 5S. Surely, it's great for low light photography and everything but then again some of us really want more megapixels though that's not the standard so that leads me to the question of the day uh what would you prefer for the next generation iphone uh more megapixels or better optics optical image stabilization in my particular case you know for what you pay for an iphone i think i could get both but leave us a comment down below what do you think and friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.